हरि ओम शांति मंत्र ओम पूर्णमद 
पूर्णमित पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 चांड फस्ट मंत्र ओम ईशावास्यमिदगम सर्वम यत्किंच जगत्याम जगत तेन त्यक्तेन भुंजीथा मृदक्कस्य स्विधनम दिस उपनिषद ईशावास्य उपनिषद फ्रॉम शुक्ल यजुर्वेद begins with that beautiful uh, shanti mantra om purna mada purna midam that that is purna this is also purna from that alone this purna has come and you when you take away that purna purna alone remains this upanishad reveals the knowledge of our own self gives atma vidya and when we gain this atma vidya we become free of our bondage we become free of this samsara the first mantra gives the path of uh, niridhyasan to one who has gained this knowledge the upanishad advise to practice niridhyasan so om isha vasyam idam sarvam yat kinch jagatyam jagat tena tyaktena bhunje thaha मृदक्कस्य स्विधन दट कवर् दिस् होल वर्ल्ड विथ ईश्वर ईश्वर इज दट साक्षात ब्रह्म एंड ईश्वर इज अवर ओन सेल्फ द स्वरूप ऑफ ईश्वर इज अवर ओन सेल्फ बाय द ब्लैसिंग्स by the shakti of ishwar alone ishwar alone appears like this world so all that we see in this world jagatyam on this prithvi jagat means all beings and this represents everything so all that is seen all that is experienced as idam 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 should be pervaded by ishvara one should see one should uh, with our buddhi one should see the presence of ishvara in this entire world one should have ishvara drishti see the same world we see in uh, two different ways one is we can generally we our attention is only on the outer form and the name we when we don't recognize the swarupa we only see the outer form like when we look at the pot we only see the pot and when uh, when we come to understand the swarup of this pot as clay then we can also see the clay so one can focus one's attention on the pot or one can focus one's attention on the clay here in this example of pot and clay both pot as well as clay are visible 
to our eyes. But in case of this world, through our senses, we see the world. We see the five elements. We also experience our senses. We experience our antakkarana. So all that we experience is what is called this world. But the swaroop of this world is our own self. That has to be understood with our buddhi and then we have to assert, we have to see this self, we have to recognize this self in this whole world. So that is what Bhagavan says, ki isha vasyam idam sarvam yat kincha jagatyam jagata All that which is there, pervade, cover it with Ishvara, have Ishvara bhavana. Adi Shankara Chereji in his commentary gives a beautiful example. He says, Ki yatha chandana chandana garva dehe udakadi sambandaja kledadi kledadi jam aupadikam dorgandhyam tat swarupan nigharshanena achadyate svena parmarthikena gandhena. Bhagavan Shankaracharya says that just as a, a, a chandan, the sandal wood, it has got a wonderful fragrance. But when that sandal wood is, uh, is kept in water and when you take it out and it is very moist, it gives out a very foul smell. So one has to dry up that water and rub that uh, sandal wood. So when we rub that sandal wood, it becomes uh, dry and the natural fragrance of that sandal wood comes out and the entire sandal wood we experience giving out a beautiful fragrance. So the bad foul smell was because of its association with water. In the same way, when we look at this world, actually what we are seeing, what we are experiencing is that Brahma alone. But because of its association, with the upadhis, with the names and forms, the Brahma is experienced in a different way. Brahma is experiences constantly changing, as inert, as limited. So when we gain that understanding of that Brahma as our own Swarupa, one has to constantly meditate to recognize the presence of Brahma in the entire world. That is what is meant by uh, the mantra, Isha Vasyam Idam Sarvam. <clears throat> and the more and more we contemplate, more and more we meditate on this entire world as Brahma, the name and the forms get neglected gets negated. One withdraws one's attention from the names and forms. It's like one looks at this uh, pot, focus one's attention on the clay, then our attention from the pot gets shifted. The pot gets uh, negated. In the same way, when one focuses one's attention on that Brahma, then all these names and forms gets negated. Hmm? So Bhagavan says, 
कि जगत क्या मिटी उपलक्षणार्थत्वात् सर्वमेव नाम रूप कर्माख्यम विकार जातम् परमार्थ सत्यात्म भावनया तैक्तम् स्यात् when we when we do the bhavana of that paramartha when we contemplate on that brahma then all the names and forms gets renounced get gets negated and in the beginning one has to put forth effort to shift one's attention from all these names and forms therefore the next line the mantra says ki tena tyaktena bhunjeta tha ha ki by constantly meditating on this world as brahma one has to renounce all names and forms there are three ways in which one gets attached to this world so that three way attachment has to be dropped so what are the three way attachment so here shankara charji writes ki evam ishvara atma bhavanaya yuktasya putradi eshana traya sanyasa eva adhikaro na karmasu there are three types of eshana they are called putreshna vitteshna and locationa when we look at the world our focus when it is on the world and we consider ourselves as different from this world then we have this uh, three types of uh, attachment one is one has got attachment for uh, putra to have children who will take our name who will uh, propagate our uh, our generation so one has got attachment to reproduce to have children that is called putreshana then there is vitteshana attachment for wealth to have because whatever uh, Uh, pleasures we get from this world lot of them we can obtain through wealth we can also protect our body through wealth so one has got this attachment for wealth then one has also an attachment for lok means attachment for this world and for name in this world and also attachment to have to go to other lokas like swarga lok or brahma lok so these three types of uh, ishna they are called aishna putreshana vitteshana and lokeshana and when we have this our attention gets uh, uh, focused on the world so one, one who wants to practice nididhyasan will have to drop these three types of ashna and focus attention on that brahma so when we gain that self knowledge when we come to understand our self as brahma one has to practice this nididhyasan to recognize that brahma as our own self and to recognize this world also as brahma isha vasyam idam sarvam everything is should be covered by isha means covered with brahma means recognized as brahma so this practice can be done only when we renounce our attachments and renounce all karma and focus attention on that brahma alone so this is also called the uh, path of uh, nididhyasan or nivritti marga so bhagwan says through this tyaga you protect yourself hmm? 
तेन त्यक्तेन गुंजेथा हा गुंजेथा हा मीन्स प्रोटेक्ट प्रोटेक्ट व्हाट प्रोटेक्ट योर ओन सेल्फ प्रोटेक्ट द ओन सेल्फ फ्रॉम व्हाट फ्रॉम दिस अटैचमेंट्स व्हेन वी हैव अटैचमेंट वी लूज अवर सेल्फ वी डोंट एक्सपीरियंस अवर ओन सुप्रीम नेचर सो बाय डेवलपिंग इंटेंस वैराग्य we have to protect ourselves and practice this niridhyasan constantly hmm? that is the meaning tena tyaktena means by tyag and by constantly meditating on brahma one should protect oneself and further the mantra says कि एवं त्यक्त ऐषण तम मा कृद कस्य स्विधनम एंड ऑल्सो वन शुड नॉट कॉवेट एनी वंस वेल्थ मा कृद कस्य स्विधनम शंकर जी राइट कि कस्यचित पर स्वस्वादनम मा कांक्षी कांक्षी ही वन शुड नॉट कॉवेट वन शुड नॉट हैव अ डिज़ायर टू हैव द वेल्थ वन शुड नॉट गेट अटैच टू अदर पीपल्स वेल्थ वेल्थ एंड नॉट टू अवर ओन वेल्थ बिकॉज वेन वी सी something different from us then only we give value to this uh, names and forms as having some value hmm? but when our attention is focused only on that brahma then even the value of this world becomes zero value of the world becomes zero See, for example, when we talk about gold and gold ornaments, so when we are looking at that ornament, then we we talk about the utility of that ornament, how we can use it, how we can wear it. Hmm? But when that uh, attention is on gold. then our attention gets totally shifted from the ornaments in gold there are no ornaments so the ornaments becomes zero ornaments lose all value ornaments lose their separate existence in the same way when one focuses one's attention on the brahma then the wealth etc loses all its value but in the beginning we have to put forth effort not to covet anybody's wealth ma gruda kasya svidhanam neither other person's wealth nor should we have attachment for our own wealth hmm. so our attachment to the objects giving them special value creates an obstacles on our path of meditation so one should not have any any attachment to all this wealth nor give any value to any objects of this world so there should be total vairagya from the entire world of names and forms just like when we go to sleep we can sleep only when we renounce the whole world when our attention from the world gets dropped then only we can go to sleep in the same way we can meditate only when we drop all attention from the names and forms of this world so that is indicated by 
दृष्टम कि माँ घृदक कस्य स्विधनम डोंट कॉवेट एनी वन वेल्थ ऑल्सो अनदर मीनिंग इज शंकराचार्य जी राइट्स अथवा माँ घृद कस्मा कस्य स्विधनम आक्षेपाथ न कस्यचिद धनम अस्ति यदृद्धेत बिकॉज हूज वेल्थ इज इट दिस होल वर्ल्ड वेन वी सी द होल वर्ल्ड एज परवेडेड बाय आत्मा देन देर रिमेन्स नथिंग अदर देन देट आत्मा देर रिमेन्स नो सेपरेट वेल्थ देर रिमेन्स नो सेपरेट ऑब्जेक्ट एवरीथिंग हेज बिकम आत्मामय ईश्वरमय सो वेन आत्मा एव इदम सर्वम इति ईश्वर भावनया सर्वम त्यक्तम अतः आत्मन एव इदम सर्वम आत्मा एव च सर्वम अतः मिथ्या विषयां कृदिम मा काशी सो अदर देन आत्मा नथिंग इज देर सो वन शुड नॉट हैव एनी अटेंशन टुवर्ड्स एनीथिंग अदर देन द सेल्फ बिकॉज देर एक्जिस्ट नथिंग अदर देन द सेल्फ If one thinks that there is something other than the self, then that is mitya, that is false, that is an illusion, that is not there. So there is no wealth other than the self. Self alone is there. So in this way, this first uh, mantra gives uh, instruction to those who have gained self knowledge. that look at this whole world and cover the whole world with ishvara drop all attachment to the names and forms don't have any attachment even for wealth your own or anyone else and meditate constantly on that brahma so this mantra is meant for द हायस्ट अधिकारी सो एवं आत्मद पुत्रादिषणात्रय संन्यास आत्मज्ञान निष्ठतया आत्मा रक्षित वेदाथ सो वन हू हेज गेन दिस आत्मज्ञान थ्रू संन्यास शुड कॉन्स्टंटली मेडिटेट ऑन दैट आत्मा बै रिनाउंसिंग ऑल अटैचमेंट्स but then those who have not gained this self knowledge those who are ignorant and wants to ultimately gain this self knowledge for them the shastra advocates the path of karma this we had seen in bhagavad gita also bhagwan had mentioned in the third chapter कि देर आर दिस टू फोल्ड पाथ देर इज दिस टू फोल्ड पाथ द पाथ ऑफ निरिध्यासन एंड पाथ ऑफ कर्म सो लोकेस्मिन द्विविधानिष्ठा पुरा प्रोक्ता मया नघ ज्ञान योगेन सांख्यान कर्म योगेन योगिना सो सेम थिंग इज सैड इन द उपनिषद्स ऑल्सो सो यर इन द फर्स्ट मंत्र the upanishad spoke about the path of nirithyasam and now in this second mantra it talks about the path of karma so let us chant mantra number 2 kurvan neveh karmani jiji vishechata gam samah evam tvai nanya the tosti न कर्म लिप्यते नरे वंस मोर कुरवेह कर्मा जिजि विशेक्षत सयी नान्य थे तोस्ती न कर्म लिप्यते नरे द मंत्र से कि कुरवन एव इह कर्मा जिजि विशेक्षतक सी दोज हू आर इग्नरंट 
those who have ignorance means what one who doesn't have the knowledge of one's own self when i don't recognize myself as that brahma when i don't know that i am brahma that's called ignorance and when i have this ignorance due to this ignorance i also have a wrong notion about myself and what is the wrong notion i consider this gross body itself as my own self so one has got identification with the gross body see this gross body and the subtle body are like upadhis but due to ignorance we identify with these bodies and consider them as i so i am a man i am a woman i am born i am young i am old so in this way one identifies with this body and since we have this great attachment to this body we want to maintain that body we want to protect that body means we want to protect ourselves we think that i am the body we want to protect ourselves and we want to live a long life we don't want to die we want to lead a complete life so here in this mantra the rishi is telling us that those who want to live a full life jiji vishesh shatagam samaha one who wants to live a, a life hundred years for hundred years hundred years is our life span whatever life we get more than 100 years is like a bonus and whatever and if a person dies before 100 years that is uh, alpa mrityu but when we have complete life that is called shatayusha complete life span of 100 years See, just like any objects of this world, everything has got its own limitations, an expiry date. So, on this physical body also, there is an expiry date. It will last maximum for hundred years. Though there are some exceptions, people live a longer life also, and some live the world early. so here the scriptures are advising to such ignorant person who is attached to his body that if you want to live a hundred years and if you want to live without any problem moving towards your ultimate goal then the best way for you to live is by performing karma कुरवन एव इह कर्माणि जिजि विशेष शतगम समाहा परफॉर्मिंग कर्म अलोन यू शुड थिंक ऑफ लिविंग फॉर अ हंड्रेड इयर्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड कुरवन नेव इह निवर्तयन नेव कर्माणि अग्निहोत्रादीनि जिजि विशेष जीवितुम इच्छेत शतम शत संख्या का समाहा संवत्सरा सी दिस वॉट कर्म कर्म इज दोज विच आर प्रिस्क्राइब टू अस दोज विच आर ओडेन टू अस बाय द शास्त्र डिपेंडिंग ऑन अवर वर्ण एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन अवर आश्रम द शास्त्र हैव गिवन अस some karma that as a brahmana you do this as a kshatriya you do this karma as a vaishya you do this karma as a shudra you do this karma as a stri you do this karma as a purusha you do this karma then as a brahmachari you have karma as a grahasthi as a vanpratti as a sanyasi so when we follow the guidance of the shastras and live in this uh, world in that way 
then we will not incur sin. Our antakarana will start becoming more and more pure and we will be moving towards our ultimate goal. So, kurvan neveha karmani jiji vishe chatagam samaha. So, there are those karmas which are prescribed by the scriptures and these karmas can, there are certain karmas which are done to fulfill certain desires. They are called sakam karma. So even sakam karma, if they are prescribed by the scriptures, if we do, that is also better. But the nishiddha karma should not be done. There are certain karmas which the Shastra says you should never do it, which are harmful to the world, should not be done like himsa or telling lies or stealing or overindulgence or hoarding too much in our homes. All these are nishiddha karma, should not be done. One should do the nitya naimittik karma which are prescribed by the Shastra. So kurvan neveha karmani jiji vishet Shatagam Samaha One should think of living only by performing these karmas. The mantra says ki evam toi na na anyatha itaha asti na karma lipyate na re that there is no other path in this world to live other than performing your duties properly. Hmm? then you, it will not bind you to this samsara. Then you will not incur sin. Then you will move towards your supreme goal. So that is the way to live in this world. Shankara Chariji writes Ki ataha shastra vihitani karmani agni hotra dini kurvan neva jiji vishet So one should live in this world performing karma which are in tune with the shastras. Just like in the society also we have our laws, our rules. Suppose even if you want to drive around then there are rules, traffic rules. So if you want to be free of all hassles, if you want to be free of all troubles, if you want to drive around, then we should drive following all the rules of the traffic. But those who don't want to drive, they want to just sit at home then those rules are not applicable for them. But those who want to drive, they have to follow the rules. In the same way, <coughs> those who want to live in this world, those who are attached to their bodies, those who think they are the physical bodies, they are born, they will die, then they should live in this world performing the karma as guided by the Shastras. And if one does in this way, then those karmas will not bind us. Slowly and steadily, we will become free. See here, briefly, the scripture mentions about this karma marga, but more about this the Upanishad will speak in the later uh, mantras, later on. Also what was said in the first mantra, it will be explained in more detail in the mantras ahead. So here this mantra talks about the path of karma. 
शंकराचार्य जी he writes he raises one question ke katham punaha idam avagamyate purvena sanyasino jnana nishtha ukta dvitiyena tad ashaktasya karma nishtha iti <coughs> that how can we understand that this particular mantra kurvanne vaih karmani is meant for those who are ignorant and the previous mantra the first mantra is meant for those who have gained knowledge and those who have renounced everything the sanyasis how can we understand that this mantra is meant for those who are ignorant so bhagwan says this path this two fold path are very clearly mentioned in the shastras ki jnana karmano ho virodham पर्वतवत अकंप्यम द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ज्ञान मार्ग एंड कर्म मार्ग आर वेरी वेरी डिस्टिंक्ट मेंशन इन अवर शास्त्र सो दोज हू वॉन्ट टू फॉलो द पाथ ऑफ ज्ञान वन हू हैज गेन दैट ज्ञान वन हैज टू रिनाउंस एक्शन वन हैज टू रिनाउंस द अटैचमेंट टू एक्शन एंड रिनाउंस द what you call sense of doership also in action so it is a totally different path but those who have not gained that knowledge for them is this path of karma both this path of karma and path of jnana don't go together if we have not gained knowledge then we have to pursue the path of karma gain chitta shuddhi and thereafter gain that knowledge and once we have gained knowledge we have to renounce all karma and meditate and gain avidans in our own self so this both these paths are different so here this path this mantra talks about the path of karma to those who have desire to live a long life and those who have this attachment identification with their body because of this identification with the body only they are talking about living a full 100 years because as far as the atma is concerned it is eternal one who has recognized the atma knows that there is no death for me but one who doesn't have this knowledge thinks that i am the body wants to lead a complete life live a hundred years for such people this mantra talks about the path of karma because the path of jnana is uh, is that in which we have to renounce all action so this shankaracharya ji writes ki this is said in mahabharat also he quotes from mahabharat that way the vyas ji has given this advice even to his own son so he says द्वा विमथ पंथान येदा प्रतिष्ठिता प्रवृत्तिलक्षण धर्म निवृत्त चुभाषित दट इन द वेदा दर् दिस् टू फोल पाथ मेन्शन द पाथ ऑफ कर्म एंड द पाथ ऑफ निधिध्यासन विच इज ऑलसो कॉल प्रवृत्ति लक्षण धर्म एंड निवृत्ति लक्षण धर्म सो दस दिस दिस मंत्र टॉक्ट अबाउट द पाथ ऑफ कर्म नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट मंत्र द ऋषि द उपनिषद क्रिटिसाइजेस दोज हु आर इग्नरंट क्रिटिसाइजेस इग्नरंस अथ इदानी अविद्वान 
निंदार्थ अयम मंत्र आरभ्य थे सो लेट अस चांट मंत्र नंबर थ्री असूर्या नाम ते लोका अंधे न तमसा वृता तांस्ते प्रेत्यागछते एक चात्मनो जना वंस मोर असूर्या नाम ते लोका अंधे न तमसा वृता तांस्ते प्रेत्यागछते एक चात्मनो जना ऋषि से कि असूर्या नाम ते लोका अंधे न तमसा वृता तांस्ते प्रेत्यागछते एक आत्मनो जना दोज हु आर इग्नरंट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इग्नरंट दोज हु आइडेंटिफाई विथ देयर बॉडी एंड दे रिमेन इग्नरंट एंड लिव इन दिस वर्ल्ड सो आफ्टर देयर डेथ दे गो अगेन टू सच लोक वेर दे कंटिन्यू विथ देयर इग्नरंस दे आर बॉर्न इन सच योनीस इन विच देयर इग्नरंस कंटिन्यूज सो इस असूर्य नाम ते लोका दे गो टू दोज लोकास विच आर मैं फॉर दोज हु आर असुरास असुरास मीन्स इग्नरंट एंड अंधे न तमसा वृता दोज वर्ल्ड्स विच आर फिल्ड विथ डार्कनेस विच आर कवर्ड विथ डार्कनेस डार्कनेस मीन्स कवर्ड विथ इग्नरंस तांस्ते प्रेत्या भी गच्छती दे गो टू सच वर्ल्ड वेन दे डाय प्रेत्य एंड हु आर दिस पीपल एक आत्मनो जना दिस आर दोज हु डिस्ट्रॉय देर ओन सेल्फ हु आर द किलर्स ऑफ देर ओन सेल्फ लेट अस रीड शंकराचार्य दिस कॉमेंट्री असूर्या परमात्म भाव अद्वयम अपेक्ष देवादय अभी असुरा तेषाच स्वभूता लोका असूर्या नाम भगवान सेज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द सुप्रीम सेल्फ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू अवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ अवर सुप्रीम सेल्फ दैट इवन द इवन टू बिकम देवता is like becoming an asura only asur are those who are ignorant but even if we get the body of a devata that is also that is also uh being an asura only so person who is ignorant of his own self when they drop this body even if they are born like devatas even if they are born like asuras or even if they are born like animal birds plant they remain ignorant only te lokaha karma phalani lokyante drishyante bujjanta iti janmani what is the meaning of loka loka means Uh, the body in which through which we experience the joys and sorrows so your loka means janma in a particular life form so when we remain ignorant and when we die we don't get moksha but we are born in different uh, life forms so that birth in different life form is what is called here as asuri loka hmm and this loka lokas are filled with all darkness only darkness means ignorance hmm
हियर इट इज सेड कि एक एच आत्मनो जना दैट हु गोज देयर दोज हू डिस्ट्रॉय देयर ओन सेल्फ दोज हू किल देयर ओन सेल्फ वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ किलिंग अवर ओन सेल्फ आत्मन नंती आत्मना के ते जना ये अविद्वांस हु आर द वन हू किल देम सेल्फ हु आर इग्नरंट ऑफ देर ओन सेल्फ सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाय किलिंग वन सेल्फ सी वेन वी डोंट नो अवर ओन सेल्फ वी रिमेन वॉट यू कॉल इग्नरंट ऑफ द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ अवर ओन सेल्फ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इग्नरेंस वी डोंट नो अवर ओन वैल्यू we don't know that i am unborn i am indestructible i am free from old age i am free from all limitation this we don't know we remain ignorant so we are unaware of our own supreme self that itself is like killing ourself hmm. like that day i gave that example that this person is there a poor person he lives in a small place in his hut surrounded by a little property which he has got but he is very poor and he goes around in the world asking for wealth working here and there then a wise person comes to his home and he tells him that you have lot of treasure hidden in your own property in the ground below so even when he had this lot of wealth he was experiencing himself as a poor person so he started digging his own that place and he discovered that wealth and he came to know that i am very wealthy i have lot of wealth so when he was ignorant though he had that wealth he was acting like a poor person only in the same way when we are ignorant of our own self we don't know that i am unborn i am indestructible i am of the nature of pure happiness pure bliss so it is like killing our self it is like destroying our self only that is what is called here as atma no jana one who has killed himself so here in this verse the upanishad criticizes the ignorant person so in this world also we find people are so miserable so unhappy running around here and there searching for pleasures looking for something by which they can become free of their sorrow their pain wasting their life pursuing some shadows in this world the real wealth lies within us only that peace that immortality that happiness lies within us one has to just look within have faith in what the shastras are saying and look within and discover the supreme wealth discover your own immortal self but those who tend to remain ignorant they are as though killing themselves and those who kill themselves and live this world they are born in different life forms 
where they continue to remain ignorant only. So here the scriptures are waking us up, telling us that, oh my dear person, wake up, seek your own self and become free. Look within, recognize your own self and become free. So what is the nature of that self? Not aware of which self we, we have killed our self. What is the nature of that self? What is the nature of that self which we have to see in this whole world? So that nature of that self will be revealed now in the following mantras. So, just to summarize, the first mantra talks about the path of nivritti, path of meditation. One has to recognize our own self as Brahma and see that same Brahma in this whole world. Pervade the whole world, cover the whole world with Brahma. But if we have not gained that knowledge, then we should pursue the path of karma as guided by the scriptures. Because when we pursue this path as shown by the scriptures, like the path of karma yoga, that will help to purify our mind, we will develop that jidnyasa and we will move towards gaining that knowledge and becoming free. But if we don't follow the path of karma yoga also, path of karma and want to remain ignorant to such people, the scripture says you are destroying your own self, you are killing yourself. And after leaving this world, you will go to a darker world. You will be born in different life forms where you will suffer. So wake up and pursue this path of the self and become free. So what is the nature of that self? That the Upanishad will tell from the next verse, next month onwards, that we will see in our class tomorrow. So till then you take care, be happy, safe, peaceful, healthy, to your work, to your sadhana. Hmm? If you can avoid going out, remain at home, remain safe and, and continue to contemplate on this supreme uh, uh, text that will take us towards our ultimate goal. So see you tomorrow. Till then, Haryo. Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Ram 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 Jaya Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Ram Bhulisya Ram Chandra Bhagwan Ki Jai Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate 
ओम शांत शांत शांति हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम